traders and investors this is trend trader here once again welcome to another book review uh, the book that we are talking about today is a book that we like a lot uh, we believe that this book contributed tremendously to our growth as traders uh, and even our slogan that you see uh, when that uh, the video start the way of a turtle is derived from this video the name of the book that we are looking at today is The Complete Turtle Trader. So this book uh, answers the question of whether trading is a skill that can be taught or it's a skill that a trader is born with it, meaning it's nature versus nature. <laughs> we hope that you get that part because English is something else. So this book is written by uh, Michael Covell. Michael Covell has written a lot of book, books on trend following. Uh, this is not the book, that the first book that we read that is written by Michael Covell. But as you read the book, you start to see other books that are written by the author and stuff like that. Then you go, you look for the other books that you haven't read. But uh, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to be talking exclusively about this book. So this book came uh, as a bet between Richard Dennis and his partner, Bill Eckhart. The question was, can you teach people how to trade? Or oh, there are certain people who are born with the skill of being traders. Ultimately, those who are born with the skill, they could be the best traders. So these guys, these two guys, Bill and Richard, they made a bet to say fine. Bill believed that, uh, sorry, Richard believed that trading is a skill that can be taught. Bill believed that trading is a skill that a trader is born with. So now to test this hypothesis, these guys, they made uh, an advert on one of the newspapers in New York. In this advert, they said that they were looking for people, not necessarily traders or people who have experience in trading. They just said that they are looking for people who are willing to learn. People that can join the company or the firm, as they call it in America, who can join the firm, they will be taught a certain set of rules that they are going to use to trade uh, commodities. And then, depending on how they follow those instructions or set of rules, then the conclusion would be then to say, was trading a skill that was being able to be transferred from one trader to another or if the traders they failed on this task then it can be concluded that trading is a skill um, that a trader is born with so let's just take a look uh, at this book because there's some <clears throat> things that i want to talk about from the cover as you can see it says the complete turtle trader and it also has a picture of a turtle but as you can see, it says how 23 novice investors became overnight uh, millionaires. Well, we're not saying that uh, by buying and reading this book, you will become an overnight success. But there are some principles that are in this book that will help you to grow as a trader. Uh, so after, the, after Bill and Richard posted this advert, and then people started applying. People came from different backgrounds. There are blackjack players. There was a guy who was unemployed. There were people who have experience in trading. But the point is people came from different backgrounds. They even came from different cities or different states in the US. Some even had different political beliefs. As you know, some people in the South, you would expect some of them to be Republicans and people in the North, maybe they are Democrats or something like that. So now, um, Bill and Richard assembled this team. They gave them a set of rules, the rules that they will follow to trade commodities. By commodities, we mean at that time they were trading mostly maize, okay, they call it corn in the US, oil, sugar, wheat, and then there were some uh, stock trading as well. But yes, in America, some people, they focus exclusively on commodities. At least at that time, stocks were not as famous as they are now even the rules have changed over the years so bill and richard formulated the rules how to enter or basically what to buy as we mentioned that they were trading commodities 
and when we speak in other um, social media groups where we participate actively we speak of you need to know the sector where you will be investing or trading so they also spelled out the rule to say what to buy meaning in which sectors as we mentioned that they were trading commodities then entry rule you need to establish a set of rules how are you going to buy what does the market has to show you for you to make a decision to buy or to sell and then once you've decided what you're going to buy and when you're going to buy it then you need to have a risk management tool a risk management tool meaning that how are you going to handle the position whether the position is profitable or whether the position is a losing position so before you place a trade or an investment you need to know when you're going to exit when you are right meaning when you make a profit or when the market prove your analysis incorrect meaning when the position start to show you a losses and then uh, how are you going to handle that whole um, how much of your portfolio or equity in your portfolio you're going to dedicate in a certain trade and things like that so in this book they give out the rules that they were following for example one of the rules is they will track a price let's say a price of wheat or corn and then every time the price breaks higher than the previous five weeks uh, average then they will buy and then they will set uh, a stop loss using average true range or short it's called an ATR if you have watched all our videos every time we mentioned uh, a stop level we mentioned ATR so ATR is an average true range it tells you how much the price has been changing for the for the past number of days then you have to put in a number there the kind of average that you're looking for for example we're using 14 day average meaning that how the price has fluctuated over the past 14 days that's the kind of information that it gives you but in addition to that we take a change in price is called volatility so basically you estimate volatility of a, a certain security how that security has been volatile for the past 14 days and then you can take that volatility into consideration for you to manage your risk so richard and bill they gave these guys uh, this set of rules and then they said each and every trade that you take should be based on this uh, on these rules so meaning you can't hear from a friend that a certain company is doing something and then you jump into the trade or maybe you are thinking you've been doing your own research and then you thought that okay you think this certain security is gonna move up or down and you act uh, on that thinking that you have no everything has to meet this uh, set of rules so we had a block where we we're talking about a trading system and then we mentioned that when we say a system we're not saying that you have um, a complicated computer or program that you use to make trading no a system is just a set of rules that spells out what to trade when to buy how are you going to buy how are you going to manage risk how are you going to exit your position whether they are winning or losing positions so that is what we mean by a system so it's the same thing bill and richard gave those guys those set of rules to say you will be following this set of rules so in the first year i think it was 1984 in the first year the 23 traders probably two or three guys quit but the remainder they made money as you see on the cover of the book it says how 23 novas traders became overnight millionaires so almost all these guys they made not just a tiny amount of money they made a lot of money and then after that it was proven that trading is a skill that can be transferred from one trader to another trade especially if you're using a set of rules which is what you call uh, we call systematic so it just differs in our case we are systematic trend followers trend following is another technique that you can use for trading as you know there is fundamental analysis and then there's technical analysis and then under technical analysis there are different techniques that you can use uh, for trading but in our case we use systematic meaning it's rule based every chart that you post it follows a certain set of rules and then trend following is the kind of technique that we use to derive those rules that you use for trading so back to the book the traders they made money and then it was proven that trading is a skill that can be taught thereafter 
majority of these uh, traders that were brought in, they went on to establish their own trading firms. One of the guy who's widely known, his name is Jerry Park. He still has a trading firm to this day. The trading firm has been doing very well because of risk uh, management. And if you know the kind of technique that you are using to trade, let's say, for example, you are using trend following. It means that you will only trade if and only if the market is trending. If the market is trading in a range, then there's no trend. You can't uh, trade in there. Otherwise, if you try to trade, you will take a lot of losses. So you need to first understand when is your technique uh, is potent. So for trend following, we're always looking for securities or sectors that are trending. If there's no trend, we stay on the sidelines. That is why sometimes we will post that cash is a position because if uh, the market we're not getting any trading signal, whether buying or selling, then you can just sit back, sit on cash, and wait for the opportunity to present itself. Same thing, Jerry Park has been doing the same thing. He's been trading using systematic trend following. There are some years where he made money. There are some years where he lost money. But since he's using strict uh, risk management protocol, whenever he loses money, he loses less amount of money as opposed to someone who will sit throughout the whole year, maybe say minus 20, minus 30, because they are waiting for the market to recover or anything like that. And then from Jerry Parker, there are other traders such as Salom Abram, who is in the western part of the US. He's also uh, an owner of a trading firm. They've also been doing very well. And there are a lot of other traders who left uh, Richard and Bill firm. They went on to establish their own firms and they've been successful ever since then. And then coming back to us, because we didn't invent a uh, trend following. It's a technique that has been existing for a number of ages. We just took it, uh, we looked at the rules, uh, how to set up or how to come up with a trading system. We invented our own rules or we just set up our own rules. We set up risk management because we don't have a lot of money to test it, uh, back test it with some expensive platforms. We just picked up a couple of securities whereby we look if we had bought at this level and managed the trade using these rules, would you have made money or lost money? Then in the end, we saw that, okay, by following this set of rules, on average, we are more likely to make money than to lose money, despite the fact that we still take losses in between because the, the outcome of the trade is random. Each and every trade that you take, you don't know whether it's going to be profitable or it will end up uh, in a loss. So if you have a trading system that has more wins than losses, okay, that would be a win rate. But in terms of size, whether you're looking at in percentage terms or you're looking at in rent uh, terms, if the wins are bigger than the losses, that means that your trading system has an edge of over the market, meaning that on average, you are more likely to make money than to lose money. So now that gives you confidence to always, every time you get a signal to buy a stock, you will just take that stock. It doesn't matter whether it will result in profit or it will result in a loss. That is not your concern because you don't know which trade is going to be profitable, which trade is going to end up as a loss. But on average, most of our trades, they just cover up the losses and then we start making money, building our equity. Uh, as the time goes by, our equity grows. So that's it for today uh, on this book, The Complete Turtle Trader. And as we said, uh, our slogan is the way of a turtle. We, we're not in a rush. We just sit, wait patiently wait for the market to set up the way we want to see a specific setup and then once that setup is there then that is our buying opportunity then we get in we buy we buy as much as we can and another concept that came from this book is the concept of position sizing we're not saying that that concept originated from this book but we first saw the concept of position sizing from this book so basically with position sizing, it's, it is another risk management tool because you use position sizing to determine the number of, of shares you can buy per stock or per company. Let's say, for example, you have a 50,000 rent.
trading account or investing account and then you say you want a maximum loss of 2% of the equity meaning that your maximum loss is going to be 1000 rand then when you want to buy a company you are going to decide how many number of shares you can buy and how low the share price has to drop for you to start losing 1000 and then once you reach 1000 rand you exit that position but we will make a separate video a separate video whereby we will be showing the calculations on excel on how we do on how we manage risk using position sizing taking into account the volatility of the share price of the specific uh, stock so the things that in summary the things that we learned from this book number one is that trading can be taught you don't need to be born as a trader or from a trading family or family that has a history of trading no whenever you decide that okay i want to be a trader now you can get someone who has experience or you can just go buy a lot of books that speaks about trading and read up as much as you can and then you will know how to become a trader two you can use a uh, risk for managing risk Okay, one is that trading can be taught. Two is that you need to have a set of rules uh, to be a successful systematic trader. If you're a fundamental investor, we're not saying that you can't set up rules if you're a fundamental investor, but still even there we believe that you can use a systematic approach. For example, uh, if we're to derive a set of rules for trading using fundamental analysis we probably look at the market cap of the companies so we are giving a hypothetical set of rules that you can use for fundamental analysis not technical analysis so you will say you will invest in companies that have a market capitalization of greater than 2 billion rands so that's criteria number one criteria number two those companies need to have a pe ratio of between 4 and 20. Yes, you can plug in whatever number you want, but what you're trying to do here is not to fit in the rules to specific companies. We're just generating the rules randomly. So companies that have over 2 billion market capitalization, companies that have a PE ratio that is between 4 and 20. And then maybe just to add, but the problem is the more rules you add, the more complicated it becomes. But we'll just add another uh, rule to filter out the poor performance. So maybe you'll say you're looking for companies that have a dividend yield that is greater than five. So now you have your set of rules. Then if you have a bit of an experience in terms of using scanners, let's say you are using investing.com or TradingView, you can go there, set up the scanner, filter companies that have a market cap that is greater than two billion, filter companies that have a PE ratio that is between four and twenty filter companies that have a dividend yield that is greater than five then you will be left with a couple of companies let's say you are left with uh, 20 or 50 companies then you can start looking at those companies we don't buy companies that we like we buy companies that meet our set of rules so if you are left with 10 names then you would invest in those 10 names because those 10 names they fit the criteria that you've set yourself. But for us, we are technicians, we're using technical analysis, so we're using uh, moving averages. Our rules are based on moving averages and stuff. Then once you've selected the stocks that you want to invest on or that you want to trade, then now you need to have a risk management tool. How are you going to handle your investment in those companies? That is where position sizing comes into play. And then you calculate or you determine, let's say, for example, we still want to focus on fundamental analysis because we want to ensure that by using systematic trend following, it's applicable everywhere, whether it's fundamental analysis or technical analysis. Then you say, for example, you're going to look at the asset value or the value of the company versus the trading price or the trading value, if you want to call it value. Then you look at the companies that can be classified as undervalued companies. Then you buy those companies. If you say the company is undervalued, it means that the current trading price of the company is lower than the intrinsic value of that company. So if you buy the chances are the current uh, trading price will rise until it, it reaches the intrinsic value of that specific company. So that is your risk management tool. 
With us technicians, it differs because it could be based on market structure, the price relationship with the moving average, or using uh, average true range and stuff like that. But the principle is the same. Have a set of rules, predetermine what you want to buy, how you're going to handle that position and stuff. Then you will see that when it comes to systematic things, it's objective. You don't buy based on your feelings, whether you like this company, don't like that company. No, it's the rules that tells you what to buy, when to buy, how much to buy, when to exit. So yeah, once again, this is the book that first uh, introduced us into systematic stuff or more objective stuff. Yes, again, you will get this book at any uh, local bookstore, but our preferred store is uh, exclusive books. Yeah, Michael Covell is the guy here at the back. So we hope that uh, this video was informative. It will help you. There are some stuff that you can pick up from this video that can help you to grow as a trader or as an investor. And the way that uh, there are stuff that you can use to refine your approach when it comes to investing or when it comes to trading. And then once again, we would like to ask you to please click on the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. This helps the algorithm so that it reaches a lot of people who are interested in trading stocks particularly the stocks that are listed in the Johannesburg Securities Exchange. Thank you. As we mentioned previously that the last video where we were talking about value investing, that was the last video on fundamental analysis. So most of the books that we'll be reviewing from now on moving forward, they will either be talking about technical analysis or trend following or systematic trend following because that is our core focus. Unless you ask for something on the comment section or in any of the other social media groups where we interact with people, but the videos that we'll be uploading from now on, they will speak exclusively on technical analysis and trend following. Yes, we like to discuss uh, risk management as much as we can because that is our bread and butter. We don't expect the companies to pay us we expect risk management to limit the amount of money that you can lose in the market so our core focus is risk management not uh, making money in the stock market till uh, we meet again on the next video have a good time